So welcome back to Pink's Kitchen. Today I'm going to check out how to make rice pakoda. This is a very delicious and instant snack recipe. You can use leftover rice for this recipe. So let's quickly check out the ingredients and get started. To a mixing bowl, add one cup of steamed rice or leftover rice, half cup of basin or gram flour, one onion finely chopped, a teaspoon of cumin or jeera. few chopped curry leaves few chopped coriander leaves half teaspoon of salt quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder half teaspoon of chili powder a pinch of asafoetida and quarter teaspoon of baking soda mix all the ingredients you need to mash all the ingredients well so that the flavors of the onion curry leaves coriander leaves and the spices come together well You need not add any water for this recipe. The cooked rice when mashed will release some water and the onion so will. So this water is more than enough to bind the ingredients. Now the ingredients have come together very well. Pull out a small portion and keep it ready. Heat some oil in a nine pot. When the oil is nice and hot, fry the pakoras in medium flame. After 2 minutes flip it to the other side and let this again fry for 2 more minutes in medium flame. Now the bubbles have settled and the pakoras are nice and crispy. So let's now remove them. Serve it nice and hot with a cup of tea and enjoy with your family and friends. Very delicious, crispy, easy, and instant snack recipe. So do try this recipe at your home and write back to me your feedback. I'll meet you all with another interesting recipe. Until then, bye, friends. Today I've taken 250 grams of lady's finger. Make sure they're nice and fresh. Also go with big ones and make sure all the lady's finger are evenly sized. Now cut both the ends. Cut the lady's finger into two halves like this. Then slit one half into two portion. Deseed the lady's finger. You can discard the seeds. Now make thin cuts like this. Likewise, make all the cuts and add it to a mixing bowl. To this, add one cup of basin or gram flour, two tablespoons of rice flour, quarter teaspoon of ajwain, a pinch of turmeric powder, half teaspoon of chili powder, half teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of cumin powder. and quarter teaspoon of chaat masala mix all the ingredients well and make sure the dry ingredients are well coated in the lady finger now it's nicely mixed so go ahead and add a teaspoon of water and mix well again now we have the perfect consistency So pull out a small portion and add it directly to hot oil. Likewise, add four to five portions at a time and fry in medium flame for two minutes. It's been 2 minutes now so flip the bindi kurkure or lady finger kurkure and let this again fry for 2 more minutes. It's been 
two minutes now the oil bubbles has nicely settled and it's also nice and crispy so let's now remove them our delicious bindi kurkure or lady finger kurkure is ready you can serve this right away and enjoy with your family and friends you can serve this as a snack with a cup of tea or even with your meal very healthy and delicious kurkure recipe so do try this bindi kurkure or lady finger kurkure recipe at your home and write back to me a feedback i'll meet you all with another interesting recipe until then bye friends If you wish to check out our recipes in Tamil, do visit Upping's Kitchen Tamil channel. Do subscribe to Upping's Kitchen channel and click on the bell icon for latest updates. Happy cooking and thanks for watching this video.